welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa and this is Beautiful You Wig Reviews. I'm so glad that you're here today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell and then you'll never miss any of my wig related videos. Today I'm bringing you a review for PinkyPromise.com. Go to the Pinky Promise website and sign up to receive their emails and you will get a code for 30% off. You can also email support at PinkyPromise.com anytime you have any questions about what wigs are in stock or things like that. So today I'm bringing you a review for this super cute new little style by Noriko. This is Meadow and this is a brand new color for them too. This is Seashell Blonde R. So very blonde, very pretty, especially on this cute little spunky style. So I can't wait to tell you more about her in just a minute. and start talking about Meadow. So Meadow is a very cute cut. I think the cut is so modern. It's so light, wispy. It has great movement. Um, and she is just a basic cap. So this rooted color gives you the appearance of having a part, but there actually is no monofilament part or lace front or anything like that. So keeping her price point low, which is nice. She does have some permatease up here on the top because they, this particular style with these layers, they want it to have some lift, but I have to say, compared to some other Norikos I've seen in the past, it's not too bad. It's not super poofy. It just gives these light wispy fibers, you know, that lift that they need to give them some movement. And there's also got to be something to cover the cap when you, you know, don't have any mono features or anything like that. So she is super, super cute. And this blonde, <laughs> I never would have thought I would have liked this color because it's such a departure from what I normally wear, but it's really cute. And I think it'll be nice if you're, you know, it would be a good shade also if you are trying to transition to gray and you, you know, you know that your hair is going to be pretty white whenever it goes gray. This would be a fun little shade too. Just a pretty light, light white blonde, you know, so really, really cute. So let me do a turn and then we'll get into all her measurements and all that kind of stuff. So here she is from the front. She does have this little wispy bang that I had to work on a little bit out of the box. It was kind of sticking straight out. That sometimes happens with short bangs on wigs. So, you know, don't be alarmed if you have to dampen them and, you know, work on them a little bit to get them to lay right and things like that. So, so here is my right side. The back, I think the back is super cute. My left, I like how she kind of points, you can point her towards the face if you want, or you can, you know, just let her hang straight. And then back to the front. Okay, so measurement wise, this front bang, they give a measurement of three, that's just this very front bang. Uh, 3.9 inches. So if it was to lay flat, I think I would need to trim it. But with the way the cap is, since you don't have any monofilament up here, the bangs stick up just a little bit, but I'm not saying stick up like that's a bad thing. <laughs> they, they, you know, they just come out slightly from the cap. So you can see it's not like they're sticking straight out or anything, but it just kind of, you know, gives you that forehead coverage without them laying right on your forehead, which I think is kind of nice. So uh, she has a 5.9 inch measurement here at the crown and then her nape back here is 2.4 inches. Uh, weight wise, she's 2.6 ounces. She's super lightweight. So I will show you her cap features here. Okay, so here's the top. So in this rooted color, like I said, you have the appearance of a part and you could move that around because that rooting is gonna be all throughout the wig, you know? So if you wanted to try to, you know, come in with a right part or maybe go in the middle, you could do that. If you just, you know, want to play around with that, you might have to steam it a little, you know, to get it to lay right for you. But I've got good coverage over here on the side and the ear tabs. Ear tabs are nice and flush. This cap is small. So this is one of those Noriko's that I feel like fits pretty petite. I have, you know, petite measurements, 21 inch circumference, 11 ear to ear, 13 forehead to nape. And this is fitting my head perfectly. So there is some stretch in the cap, but I didn't even have to bring the adjusters in or anything. So she, I think, is going to be a bit of a smaller fit. So, okay, and then I'll show you this, you know, there's no lace front, like I said, so that's why you have that bang. You got that fringe to hang down in front of that so that, you know, to disguise that. So, so 
Really cute. Here's the okay. inside of the cap for Meadow. So as you can see, we just have closed, you know, there's some wefting underneath there, but just closed wefting all on the top. And this is where there is some permatease. So it'll have kind of a pillowy, you know, feel to it when you squeeze the cap and everything. And then you've got just uh, lace covered ear tabs with lots of hair there. So it's, she works great tucking behind the ear. Open wefted cap. You don't have an extended nape, but it's not needed in this short style. And then pull adjusters. So I'll show you the top here, which I think looks really, really good. So see, there's permatease there, but you're not gonna see little fibers sticking up, which is really, really nice. That's what I look for when I look for, you know, when I'm looking at basic cap wigs, I don't wanna have a bunch of little fibers that stick up and make it look nesty on top. So it definitely doesn't have that appearance. Okay, so let's talk about this color, this Seashell Blonde R. So Seashell Blonde R is described as a blend of creamy blonde and white blonde with a soft brown root. I think that's very accurate. I'm gonna kill the lights here too in just a minute so that we don't have quite so much reflection and you'll see more of the creamy. I feel like the white shows more in the direct light and the creamy comes out when we uh, dim the lighting some. Here again is that you know brown root would say it's a medium to dark brown root but it is definitely soft it's you know it's I think that's a good description Here we are without the bright lights this is just my ring light I'll even turn that off and we'll see what we get so this is literally just room light Ring light back on. Definitely white, creamy, very pretty. Okay, so seashell blonde R. So there's the top. Now you can kind of feel, you know, if you run your finger across that, you're going to feel those little hairs, but I don't feel like they show, which is nice. Okay, so it's overcast right now, which is probably really good for seeing this color. So you can see the creamy and the white, and you can see that that rooting is going to be visible anytime you move the hair, which I think looks really cool. See her movement in the breeze. She's light and wispy, super cute. Okay, let's look at some styling and glasses and all that kind of stuff for Meadow. So she's very ear tuckable, which this is the first style I'm gonna show you because I think she looks really cute tucked behind the ears and then just letting these, you know, these bangs are just gonna be where they're gonna be, you know. But that looks really, really cute just with her tucked behind the ears. So glasses, glasses are super easy, super easy to put up on the head. You just may have to straighten your bangs out a bit, but very easy. She looks so cute with the leopard headband, y'all. Cute. And then of course you could just stick that headband in. Looks cute both ways, really, really cute. And then, you know, other things you could just, you know, pull a little bit back, leaving the bang at the front, you know, but you could pull back some cute little layers, both sides, one side, however you wanted to do that, you know, or add something cute like, what do I have in here that's, you know, one of these cute little alligator clips or just to add a little flair, 
You could add something sparkly, you know, that looks cute too. So she's really, really a cute little style, very nice um, little basic cap wig. So great price point too. Without the monofilament, you definitely keep that price point down. So thank you to Pinky Promise for providing this wig to review for you all today. There will be purchase information below this video. And don't forget to go to the website and sign up to, uh, you know, Get those emails so you can get that 30% off discount and save yourself some money. So thank you so much for watching today. And until next time, don't forget, you are absolutely beautiful. Bye.